Good morning and welcome back to First Local on this, you know, frosty but soon to be warmer, apparently, according to Craig, Thursday, April the 28th, Baby Friday, as we affectionately call it here in the studio. As promised, the delightful Lisa Vizzo Allen, visionary and professional, uh, is here with me. Um, and you know, if you haven't heard of Grocer for Good Ability Development Program, now is your chance to listen up because this is an amazing, amazing project designed to give people who are marginalized and underemployed chronically sustainable and engaging employment opportunities. So tell us a little bit about this new initiative. So Heidi, it came about, um, there was a call out through Healthy Communities, okay. um, which is the Community Foundations of Canada, which is funded by the federal government. It was a pandemic um, recovery fund. Okay. Um, and we kind of took a look at it and thought, let's connect um, what we're doing at Grocer for Good with providing um, healthy alternatives to people. Okay. And we found this in the summer because we had you know, a lot of produce. Um, you know, lots of different squashes and zucchinis and things like that yes. that we sold extremely reasonably, like 50 cents. Sure. And a lot of them just stayed on the shelves because a lot of people didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. So it was sort of connecting um, healthy food with our staff, with our, our community. So the healthy communities um, funded us um, $24,000. Wow. The maximum was 25000 so that was oh, really, wow. really okay. wonderful. Okay, good. Um, the majority of that is going into the consumables for the meal kits. All right. So we can provide 20 meal kits every Saturday. So it's sort of like that HelloFresh. Okay. You know, the HelloFresh box comes to your door and you have your recipe and ingredients and things like that. So they get everything. They get all the ingredients, the recipe, the instructions, wow. and it's completely free and there are no parameters. We don't need proof of income <laughs> or you don't need to be registered with a program. It's, it's wow. for the community. So the past few days have been extremely overwhelming okay. um, and we are fully booked and registered until June the 4th. Okay. So, um, you know, we just ask people to be patient with us. Yes. Um, we do have, um, you know, a capacity that we can only do those 20 kits per week. But we're also through the summer, we will be doing some special pop ups. Okay. Um, hoping to do like a, you know, community barbecue and things like that as, as part of this initiative right. for sure to connect people. Yeah. Um, and this Saturday, um, we're really happy to have Harvest Algoma with yes. us. Yes. Yes. We, we love our Harvest Algoma partners, and uh, they did a pilot during Easter mm -hmm. with producing baked goods for right. sale, and it was extremely successful. So not only is Harvest Algoma providing the buns for our kit, our kit um, this week is a pulled mushroom barbecue sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of butter, <laughs> lots of butter. Uh, and they're providing the buns for that, but then they're also gonna be selling out of the store um, potato bread, sweet buns, cookies. So it just, I'm all about collaborations and partnerships. Yes. You know, G4G certainly didn't happen with, without that really no, firmly in place. No, definitely not. And uh, so we're really excited to have uh, the Harvest Algoma team with us this Saturday. Yeah. So yeah, it'll, it'll be great. You know, and, and our, our viewers will have heard me talk a lot about your, your supper clubs. Yep. Um, I've attended two. They are uniquely, brilliantly executed. The food is fantastic. Again, you know, this is an organization um, that is reliant on these fundraising opportunities. So, um, what is the process then uh, for getting one of these one of these meal kits? Like so, to get to get a meal kit, um, you call the G4G line, which is 705-255-0445, or email email is also um, a way, and it's grocer number four good at gmail .com. Um, so the, that's how people get registered, and then we just slot, we do it according to order of coming in, okay. and we slot you in the next available spot. So now, if somebody comes in and they happen to be meal kit order number twenty-one, which <laughs> would be my luck, do they automatically get held over to the next one, or do must they come back at you again? Yeah, we will register them for the next available okay. date. So we're trying to keep it very equitable and fair. Good. And in order, as the requests come in, that's how they get slotted in. Where do you come up with these great ideas? Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> But it's and the yes. other the other the other key piece is that for a lot of our staff, it was really important for them to learn because um, they're putting the kits together. Yes. How to follow a recipe? Oh, we need one and a quarter teaspoons of paprika. 
how, how, measuring that into the container and just understanding how to follow a recipe, how to compile the ingredients, and also the cost. Okay. So it's it's multi, you know, let's follow a recipe, let's make it healthy, but also let's make it affordable. Yes. Um, and that's really important for us as well, that then um, for the people receiving the kits and the people processing the kits, okay. that there becomes a better understanding of both. Um, you can eat, you know, really healthily, and it's pretty easy to cook rather than opening a can. It's right. easy to make like a fresh sauce. Right. Or it's easy to put together a uh, vegetarian chili. That was one of our pilots, was a vegetarian chili. Wow. You know, and that's really what we're aiming for. But thank you for bringing up the supper clubs. So <laughs> we are a registered charity and we do not have core funding. We have a lot of great partners that have helped us along the way. A lot of great funders, including the Algoma Autism Foundation. Yes. Uh, PUC, Northern Credit Union, Big Lake uh, Cabin, Big Lake Cabin, <laughs> yeah, uh, the Kiwanis Club of Sault Ste. Marie has been helping wow. us. Um, I know I'm missing a few. Um, District Social Service Administrative Board has yes. helped us along. We're collaborating on the on the kitchen that hopefully will will be done soon. Okay, we're dealing with uh, with uh, inventory and issues with getting products like everyone else that's trying to do renovations. Right, um, but really. Um, it's about the community coming together yes. and, and helping each other. So we are going to be doing another event um, that will be announced shortly. But keep June the 11th, Saturday night open. We have a dinner dance happening at the Bush Plain. Yes. And we've named it the Come As You Are Gala. Woo. Really important for us Woo. that everyone comes as they're comfortable. You know, if you want to come in a ball gown and a tuxedo, rock on. <laughs> if you're like, hey, I haven't put on real pants since the pandemic, <laughs> myself included, wear those yoga pants. So <laughs> it's really about coming together and, and uh, celebrating. Okay. And uh, uh, staff and volunteers, past and present, will receive a free ticket. Okay. And it's uh, really about coming together and, and dancing and eating and uh, celebrating where we're at. You know, we had our grand opening March the 6th. At just, the new location at 147 No, at the, at the first location. Oh, okay at 133 Gore and uh, then the complete lockdown happened and we've survived and we will have another grand reopening at 147 once the kitchen is complete so Fantastic. Um, yeah we're just dealing with with supply chain issues but uh, but we've we're getting there and uh, you know really proud of of everyone this doesn't happen without uh, an amazing team team of volunteers great board of directors great staff and great customers so we need people to come buy their groceries there. And that's the other um, sort of urban myth is that, can I go to Grocer for Good? I can't go to Grocer for Good. Yeah, like we have amazing Ho Hogan's Homestead syrup. Yes. Come buy your syrup. We have specialty Latino products. We have, wow. you know, um, we're working on a, a partnership with Valley Field Produce okay. for the summer. Um, we've had some sponsors that are sponsoring produce for us. Very nice. So uh, Very contact nice. us if you're interested in doing that. And we're going to have a lot of local produce through Valley Field. Okay. So, um, and uh, we're really, uh, we're just going to keep serving our community and making changes and uh, and making sure that people are employed that, that need those skills. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, you know what, Lisa, you are such a busy lady. <laughs> I am so grateful that you were able to give me some time because as you know, I'm a, I'm a staunch supporter of Grocer for yes. Good. And uh, I, I really I am blown away by your passion and your enthusiasm. So thank, thank you. you so much for coming in today. And uh, I will be following, and I, it's highly likely I'll be attending the gala. So <laughs> June the 11th. I can't wait to see what you're wearing. Woo. Well, I know. Stay I, I don't tuned. know. I don't know. <laughs>